Today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at these giant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures from Playmates Toys. Now these just started showing up in Walmart and Target stores, and they are also available on amazon.com. And I'll put product links down in the video description box below for all these figures. But I should tell you right out of the gate, Michelangelo is a Walmart exclusive. Yes, that's right, exclusive to Walmart. You can get these three figures at other retailers, but Michelangelo is locked down to Walmart as of the making of this video, which, Absolutely blows my mind that they would do that. It would make sense to me that you could buy all four turtles at one singular retailer, but that's not how they're doing it for whatever reason. Now, if you're familiar with the original 1989 figures, guess what? These aren't it. These have been changed. The original 1989 figures looked a little bit different, had different scale. So notably, these are 12 inch. The original figures were 13 inch. And if you're noticing any kind of cohesive nature amongst their heads, well, that's because they're all using the exact same head. Uh, the original 1989 figure had this Raphael head, and for whatever reason, they chose to give Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello the same Raphael head. In fact, they took it a step further. In the original 1989 release, he had his teeth lines painted, so you can see the individual segments of the teeth. They just blasted it all with white paint here. Obviously, you can fix that with a felt tip sharpie marker in you know five seconds it wouldn't take you long at all but to me it's just another one of those things where like oh come on guys you know you're, you're skimping out on something that could have been easy other notable changes michelangelo only has one set of nunchuck uh, and you'll notice it has a chain the original one had a string i'm actually okay with that change i think it you know poses and looks better Raphael, pretty much identical to his original release other than you know the scale changes Leonardo, he only has one katana sword instead of the two that he originally came with. Uh, so those are the big changes. Looking at the packaging, you have the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of four inch figure card back design. Uh, the original giant Ninja Turtle figures came in a, a window shell box. So this is definitely different from that original one. You got the, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the bricks on the side there. On the back, you just got your glam shot of all four turtles posing with their weapons, as well as, you know, the brief about turtles card back. And that is it. Like I said, nothing too fancy with the packaging. Upon closer inspection of the turtles out of the box, we do get the same original articulation where the shoulder rotates, the forearm turns, the leg spin outward, inwards, and lower leg spins 360 degrees. So you're able to do that. Rotate the head 360 degrees. The heads are soft. You can squish them in a little bit. You could pop it off if you wanted to, but it'll be an absolute pain to get it back in that joint. So I don't recommend it. Uh, down here gets his bow staff, of course, just one. Uh, there's no notches on the back of his belt to store it. You'd have to slide it in between the straps here. The straps themselves in the original figure were made of cloth. These aren't, these are rubbery plastic material and these actually adhere to the body of the turtles themselves. So that's why it's so nice and taut instead of being loose. Um, there's actually little clips around the shell of the turtle where the straps click in there. So if you've got an old beat up 1989 figure and you're thinking, hey, I'll pick up one of these newer ones, take the strap and belts off of it and put it on my old figure. Well, you're not gonna, not gonna be able to do that. So don't expect to be replacing your old worn out uh, belts and straps from your original figures with these newer ones. So Michelangelo, like I said, Walmart exclusive. His nunchuck, he only gets one. Uh, doesn't have a string, has the chain instead. It doesn't have a wire form or anything like that. So it's really just gonna be soft plastic. You can you know, manipulate it, put it in both hands, but it's not gonna pose in any kind of crazy, cool, uh, articulate positions or anything like that. Another change to note is at the bottom of the feet. They are completely hollow around the heel area, whereas the original figures were kind of like the, the toe area here where it was partially indented and it went all the way around the feet. So completely different molding techniques used on these smaller figures, which makes sense because they are reduced in size and scale than the original 13 inch one. So I can understand why they had to change the, the production process. Raph here gets both of his size. So whereas Michelangelo and Leonardo get shortchanged with only one of their weapons, Raph gets both of his. Something that Playmate Toys has been doing for numerous years is giving Raphael this kind of minty spearmint green color. Now they've, you know, for many years been issuing the colors in different shades and I'm okay with that, that's fine. But for whatever reason, it seems like each and every new product we get with the Ninja Turtles, Raphael's skin tone gets lighter, lighter, and lighter. So 
Um, if you're not a fan of that, avoid this figure. Me personally, it doesn't really bother me. I'm okay with it, but it should be worth noting. But I do like, you know, like I said, we get both of his size, that's great. Leonardo, unfortunately, just the one katana. It does look good. I'm glad that, you know, it's fully painted. We didn't just get like a solid silver katana or a solid blue or something like that. They did paint the weapons, the accessories, they all look nice. I just wish they would have painted the inside the, the teeth there so we had that, you know, more distinguished separation on each individual tooth. But overall, for somebody that didn't have the original ones, uh, you know, $25, I think that's reasonable. Um, you'll have to be the judge yourself if you're okay with them all having the same heads and expressions, if that's a deal breaker for you. You know, let me know in the comments what you guys think of these. Do you want Playmates to kind of do more of these remake reissues on other more obscure turtles? I would like to personally see Bebop and Rocksteady complete and round out this giant turtle collection if possible. So that's something I'm personally looking out for. And like I said, I'll put product links to all these figures down in the video description box below, as well as the pinned comment. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found their information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.